Okay, it is sunny outside, so I'm gonna put those back on. Um, it is sunny outside, and it is the last uh, vlog or video from Mongolia. We're heading today to a place called the Orkhon Valley, which is one of my favorite places in Mongolia. Big open spaces, rolling hills, waterfalls, rivers, horses. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So, let's hit the road. Check this out. Our vans are back. How did they get to us from the west of the country? Well, while we were flying, taking pictures, pooping in proper outhouses, and sleeping on somewhat real beds, they drove for two days straight to meet us here. And I'm glad, it would just kind of feel wrong to end this Mongolia journey without them. We just got to the Orkhon Valley and I'm a little bit shocked to be honest. Things have changed insanely since I was here four, five, six years ago, whenever it was I was here last. This is the same Gur camp I stayed at last time, but it was one of like four or five and there was only small Gur camps. Now there's Gur camps like that one right there that there's about 40 Gurs at. There's another one up there with about 20 and just the drive in was just covered in Gurs. It's absolutely crazy here. The place that we came here for is a waterfall that's just that way. And even that way, there's a couple gurs. There's probably like five or six gur camps right along it. There's also uh, people camping there. Um, there's power lines. There's power lines and a cell phone tower. Apparently people are getting three and four G here. Things have changed a lot. I think in hindsight, if I was to do this trip again, I'd probably do the west, which was incredible even though it was hard, and maybe the north of the country, because um, this is kind of almost getting a little bit overrun. But still beautiful, and I think uh, it looks like we're not gonna get a whole lot of light tonight, so I'm gonna go on a quick walk to show you guys the waterfall, and then maybe we'll get up in the morning to do sunrise, or potentially even some star photography there. So let's go on a bit of a wander. So our oversized boy band of travel photographers set out on a location scouting mission. I love visiting new places, but I also kind of wanted to preach the value of returning to the same place over and over again. Most people don't have the luxury to photograph new destinations every day. I kind of wanted to use this part of Mongolia to show that that's okay. Over the next two days, we'll come to these waterfalls four different times. And today after a quick location scout and watching one of the coolest thunderstorms blast through our camp, we caught some sleep and headed back to the waterfall in the morning. This time, with camera gear. We had this great idea last night to photograph stars over the waterfall. It was like full moon that was setting at about four in the morning and then, you know, stars are still out at four in the morning and have the whole waterfall lit up by the last bit of moon and the Milky Way over it. It was a great idea, but it rained on us and it was cloudy, so it didn't happen. And then this morning, it looked like we weren't gonna get any light at all. And we don't really have great light, but I think I still got a photo. It's really, really, really simple with the waterfall down in the bottom of the frame. And then there's kind of a really cool cloud that's just really subtly coming down and almost working like a, almost like a leading line of sorts or like the Milky Way would in a photo coming straight down from the sky onto the waterfall. So uh, it's not great and definitely um, we're gonna come back here for sunset tonight and sunrise again tomorrow to try to make a different photo but it's something, we made something out of nothing. Sunrise was okay. Eventually a sliver of light caught the edge of the falls making for an okay image. But with the location this great, you wanna do better than okay. I mean, look at this place.
So eventually we packed up our gear and headed back to camp. Some would head off on a horseback and others, like yours truly, would simply chill out and wait for another chance to photograph the falls. Okay, so we're back at uh, the area of the waterfall and it's definitely a sunrise location, I think, just because it's really heavily backlit. So we're doing another scouting mission, this time trying to find the downside of the waterfall, the bottom of the waterfall, to see if there's any composition there. And then in the morning, whatever we prefer, the bottom or the top, we'll come back to and photograph. So a little bit of an, a scouting mission. Tell me what you're made of. Look, my no hands. This is not the safest way to hike down a steep cliff face, but gotta get that B roll. Bruh. It's a brand new day. It definitely falls in the category of one of those locations that's beautiful, but not photogenic. Being down here on the rock with this water everywhere is phenomenal. But there's not a whole lot going from a photography standpoint other than the waterfall. There's no foreground element. There's no trees in like a really cool position. It's beautiful, phenomenal to be here, but a bit of a challenge to photograph. So I think probably I'll go back up to the, the top, scout some locations, and see what happens either tonight or tomorrow morning. Greg, I like your socks. Thanks. Did you get them at uh, Walmart? <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever been to Walmart. What are you drinking? I'm Canadian. I'm drinking tea, peppermint tea. Did you get it at Walmart? I did not, no. I got it from Carlos. Hey, <laughs> Carlos. Did you get it at Walmart? No. So I didn't think we were going to shoot anything because the light's not great, but it was perfect actually for this type of photo that I wanted, which is a very Instagrammy image, kind of that outdoor adventure man photo that people kind of like to make fun of. Where I'm way back here at about 50 to 70 millimeters. I'm not actually sure. Uh, yeah, 55 millimeters or so. And I went standing on that rock with my backpack, standing right in the middle of the waterfall, enjoying the view with some crazy backlight happening. Uh, there's some, like a grove of trees off to the left that sucks a little bit because it'd be really nice to have that singular tree and then just mountains in the background, but I'm not good at Photoshop and I'm pretty lazy. So um, I'm gonna leave them in and I think that works. I think this is a photo that works. I know, this is turning into Groundhog Day, but after watching the light fade on another day, we were up at dawn for one last shot at the falls, and hopefully to dig a little bit deeper into our box of creativity. Wide open spaces. Okay, we're back at the waterfall this morning, and I have to say, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit brisk this morning, a little bit chilly. And uh, yeah, we're here, like I said, at the waterfall for the third time. And when you're a tourist, you kind of want to just go to a place once, take the pictures, and then go somewhere else. And even on photo workshops, that's kind of how things work quite often. But I like to find somewhere on every photography workshop where I take people two or three times. I like to show them the importance of going to a place two or three times. Because when you go to a place two or three times, what tends to happen is the first time you go, you see the big picture. You see the huge waterfall and you capture that. 
And then the second time you go, you might even try to perfect that big waterfall photo, that big hero shot. But then once you start going three or four times, you start to really see the details of a location. So yesterday with the Instagrammy photo, that was kind of starting to reach that point. And today, I'm trying to take that a little bit farther even. So I'm shooting kind of the hero shot again right now as I wait for the light to change into the way I want it to. And then I have another shot in mind. So a little bit of waiting, a little bit of instruction, and uh, then we'll shoot this last shot here at the waterfall. Okay, so uh, we're set up, more or less here. Basically, I learned something from my boy James Popsis when I was in, uh, in, in Norway with him. And he said something like, don't worry about getting the whole mountain because if you crop the mountain out, it'll leave how big that mountain is to the imagination of the viewer. And I kind of want to do that with this waterfall too, in that I want to crop the bottom off and leave it to the imagination of the viewer how far the waterfall drops. But I want to add to it by standing there adventure man style on the top of the waterfall. So I've got the 100 to 400 on, I've got a three stop ND to slow down the shutter to about a half a second, and I've got a two stop medium grad on the top to hold in some light. And I've got this really cool tree on the top of the frame. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the camera exactly the way I want it, and then I'm gonna walk over there with my backpack on, and I'm gonna have Greg just take photo after photo after photo as I walk around the top of the waterfall posing in different spots. I might be too small for the photo, I don't really know, but uh, it looks like the right light and situation to do this, so let's do it. this great outro plan to this video where I was finally gonna get back to Ulubantar and I was gonna end this video sitting in a bubble bath with just a giant pizza surrounding me living that luxury life finally back in like I don't want to call it civilization but back in like comfort <laughs> and luxury but then when we got back to Ulubantar I enjoyed that comfort so much that I forgot to film the outro. So I'm filming this outro now and you can probably tell by the length of my beard now, it's been a while. Yeah, no creative outro today. We got back to Ulubantar safely. <laughs> <laughs> the trip was amazing. It was taxing, it was rewarding, it was a challenge, it was beautiful. And overall, it was, it was just incredible. It was a really, really amazing experience, full of lots of stories. So if you wanna join Greg in Mongolia next year for like a video photo trip like we just did, click on the link in the description of this video and it'll take you over to the place that you sign up for information. I think that's it for today. Long video, long trip, ready for a long nap. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.